Sunday morning and the sun's out. I gotta do a little welding. This is a 96 XR600 and I need to do a few things, a few little knick-knack things on it today. One of them being welding this kickstand. Am I on manual focus? What the fudge is going on? I am on manual focus. Jackass. Um, my buddy's kind of a fat body and this thing's a kick only and uh, he was kicking it with a kickstand down and it buckled underneath him so I'm gonna I'm gonna pull that kickstand off and weld it up and uh, hopefully I got some joker that's gonna buy this thing and uh, get it out of here today. Let me see what we got here. I got some carrots. Let me see what this bad boy looks like. Let's see, let's pull one of these carrots out of the ground. Oh. Holy crap, what the fudge? Oh, the damn slugs. Look at that shit. That is just crazy looking. They filleted open a carrot. How do you do that? I don't think I'm going to eat that. That looks like a genetic mutant. Eey. I got spinach and garlic. I am a renaissance man. I got all kinds of stupid interests. Alright, let's pull this one out. Let's see what happens here. Alright, Bugs Bunny would be proud. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Now that's a carrot. Now I grew that over the winter. It's pretty crazy. We don't get snow. We get a lot of rain. We get pretty cold out here. But, uh, we'll eat that one up. I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. That just didn't even look right. God, that looks like surgery gone bad. Okay. I'll cover that up. It's Sunday morning and I pissed the neighbors enough. Oh, look at this. Now oh, here's the old girl. Let's do a cold start on this thing. What the hell? Oh, it's early. Neighbors won't mind. Let me see where are we here. Yeah, a little choke. Give it a key. And let's see what happens. couple turns of a 17 millimeter wrench. I pulled the bolt out, pulled the kickstand all the way off. You can see where it failed. So I'm going to make a sleeve similar to this, slide it over this outer sheath of this uh, smaller diameter pipe, and weld it up and see how we can do. See if the Colonel, uh, old Colonel 666 approves of this welding. Thanks. I bent the shaft straight, the kickstand shaft straight, welded it around and quite honestly that was probably strong enough and since I'm selling it in theory I probably doesn't even matter but uh, I'm still gonna cut the sleeve I'm gonna make a sleeve just like this top part here and run it down probably to the foot just to double it up that's why I'd do it if I were keeping it and there it is so I'll show you how I'm doing this so with a little creative cutting grinding and clamping I've got a thin wall pipe three-quarter inch pipe uh, my first inclination was to use some heavy steel pipe that I have laying around here, but I don't need this kickstand. It is a dirt bike. I don't need this kickstand weighing 75 pounds. Let me go take it up front. So all this lines up with the contours. I'm going to come run some beads across here, run a fat bead along the bottom, and then come around the foot here. And that So that's the part of the kickstand you'll see. There's a little spring nub in there. And I made the seam weld on the back where I came up the back and then did the edges. I just ran it across the table or the bench grinder. So while we have a minute for the paint drying on that kickstand, I'm just clearing out. I got rid of those snow peas. Those are definitely not a winter, um, a winter crop. I had this is all kind of the leftover stuff. I usually keep my seeds for two seasons, and um, at the end of the second season, I usually delete whatever leftover seeds I have. And this year, I just threw a bunch in the ground of what was left: carrots and spinach and uh, onions. These are garlic. I don't think the garlic's going to do well at all. That stuff needs heat. Uh, it is 2 inch schedule 40 I found on Craigslist. The guy was getting rid of. He was a burning man kind of guy. And he had drilled a bunch of holes in it. And he roped it all together to make himself a little hut or a yurt or whatever the hell they're called. And uh, stopped going to Burning Man. Had all this pipe. Had about 30 pieces of this 2 inch. Um, they're 12 feet long. And uh, I cut those 4 foot so this bed is 4 by 12 I stacked them up. I had this steel band laying around. These are old fence boards. These are some stones that I, <laughs> I pulled out of a path when I was doing some concrete work. Um, and then I just filled it with soil. Put screen down because the damn gophers were just working my garden over before. Let's see if we got any more Chernobyl carrots. Ooh, wait a minute. Yeah. 
Ah, see, that's a good one. Let's see. Mm -hmm. That's a good carrot. Bit, ooh, a little dirt in there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Mmm, dirt. It's good roughage. Right out of the ground. Hmm. So the paint's probably about dry. Let's put this kickstand on and do a cold start. Mm, that's a good carrot. Mm, that's a good carrot. So there it is. Reinstalled. Not bad. Quick coat of paint. So there it sits on the freshly repaired kickstand. Let's get her started and let's see if, uh, well, let's see if I fall over. Ow. What's up, dog? You going to be my helper today?